Chapter 8 Vital Tips to Hack Your Digital Devices Use Addiction In this video, we'll discover about vital tips to hack your digital devices use addiction. So far, the detrimental effects of unrestrained use of technology devices have been highlighted. The benefits have also been identified. Therefore, it makes perfect sense to end this video course by giving you helpful tips that will help you in your bid to restrict your use of your gadgets. These tips will empower you to disconnect when you need to and reconnect to your true identity. Be practical. It's possible to do a complete digital detox sometime. The feeling is liberating and refreshing. Nonetheless, some people can stay off using their devices for a while. But this is not practicable for many people. For example, you may need to be online a lot because of your job or other obligations. It is also possible that you are living far away from your family and you need to stay in touch a lot through digital communication. If you are in that situation, you cannot completely disconnect. However, you can still do a digital detox. Choose a plan that is compatible with your schedule. For example, you can choose to stop checking your phone when you are in bed. Don't overrate yourself. Start your digital detox without overrating yourself. Remove anything that can tempt you to check your phone. For example, you should turn off notifications for social media apps like Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, etc. You should also do the same for news websites that send alerts about a new post. Avoid checking your social media accounts or websites for new posts. Rather, you should set a specific amount of time you spend on reading posts in a day. You should also respond to comments and react to responses during that time. It can be within 20 to 30 minutes. The most important thing is to stick with the plan. One step at a time. It's excellent if you can stay off digital connection for days. Nevertheless, it may not be practicable. So, you can start your journey to digital detox by starting with some specific apps you visit too frequently. For example, you can choose to start with your Facebook app. Regarding setting time, rather than begin by setting out 30 minutes for visiting social media, you can start by ruling out the early part of the day. You may allow yourself to only use these apps in the evening. When you enjoy the progress, you can make it more restricted. Place limits. You may not be able to completely disconnect because of the nature of your daily routine. Nonetheless, you need to place limits on the time digital connections can intrude into your activities. Setting limits is good for your mental and physical health. When you don't have limits, you make yourself prone to all the negative impacts of overwhelming exposure to these devices. Set restrictions by focusing on the apps you need per time. For example, you may want to play music with your phone during your workout. In that situation, you can put the phone on airplane mode to avoid being distracted by calls, texts, or app notifications. Digital fast. In the same way people have a food fast, you can do the same with your digital devices. You can give up all digital devices for a day or even a week. You can do this intermittently, especially whenever you realize that you are excessive with the way you use your devices. As earlier mentioned, you shouldn't surrender your life's control to technology. You need to be disciplined enough to say no to your use of any device. Once your craving to be online overwhelms you, you've another master in your life, which shouldn't happen. Digital fasts give the steering wheel to the right driver, you. A day off. Make your digital detox seamless by having a particular day of the week when you don't use your devices. Of course, you should look for a day when it is not likely you've any essential message you need to read. Going a whole day without visiting the digital world will empower you to cut down more on technology use when necessary. 
If you can stay off a whole day, it will not be too difficult to reduce your social media use to some minutes of a day. Be accountable. Carrying some people along in your new journey can help you stick with your resolve. For example, you can tell your spouse that you will not be online for a certain day in the week. This approach will help you stay focused. You will not want him or her to see you checking your phone on that day, and that will help you stick to the plan. Telling other people about your decision can also inspire them to do the same. When the people around you choose to do the same thing, you will have more sources of motivation. Visit friends and families more. A digital fast works best when you replace using devices with other meaningful activities. If you stay off social media without engaging yourself productively, the decision cannot last. Before you think about staying off the digital world, you should think about the activities you will do instead. For example, during the day you choose not to use your devices, you can visit your friend and families. You can replace the virtual interaction with physical communication. You can also consider joining a club or a volunteer group to engage yourself when you are less busy. Limit easy access to social media apps. Turning off notifications can limit your use of social media apps. Nonetheless, it may not be effective if you are a chronic user. You may have to delete the apps and reinstall them later when you are more confident to limit their use. If it's a video game, you can give it to your friends for a while and get it back when you are ready to apply more caution. Keep track of your progress. Don't feel like you're punishing yourself when you do a digital detox. Besides, you shouldn't do it out of guilt. Enjoy the process by keeping track of your progress. You can also share your success with your friends and families.